What's up guys, this is Prime C from PR Tech Reviews and today I'm going to show you how to update your Nexus 7 or Nexus 5 or any Nexus device through the factory images as an OTA. So basically you will not be wiping your device. Um, hopefully this will work, it's going to be my first attempt at doing it. Um, check out the link in the description below, Root Junkie is the one who actually figured this method out, so I would go watch his video first. Um, I'm mainly making this because the Mac, um, he didn't, he had, a, he did it with a Windows PC, so I wanted to update it and show you guys for Mac because it's a little bit different. It took me a little bit of tinkering. So first of all, you want to get your device into fast boot mode. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do that, so I'll let you do that. Next, you're going to want to plug in your device into the laptop or your computer or whatever you have. Um, you might see it a little bit funky. That's because I had to record the image upside down. So as you can see now, my Nexus 7 is in fast boot mode. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download um, all the files. You're going to want to download the image straight from um, Google, for, straight from the Google Images site, Google Images site, um, straight from the site for where the, where the images are. I'll have the links in the description below. Um, this is mainly going to be for the Nexus 7 2013, but you just need to edit your files to make sure that they match whatever um, whatever images you're using. And basically what we're going to do is take that image, which is actually right here. Um, you also have to make sure that you have an unlocked bootloader and that you have Java and the SDK installed. Um, so I have the SDK right here and I have Java installed. I installed it just now. Um, so what you're going to want to do is unzip this file. This will come up and it will have um, it will have the bootloader.image and then the image razor.zip, but it won't have all these little different images. Um, that's fine. All you have to do is double click this and extract this as well. Um, as you can see, it extracts and I already took all those files. So you're supposed to take all those files and put those back, put that back into that folder. So they're all nice and neat in the same folder. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the flash all.sh. Um, also, I'll have a link in the description below with the exact commands that you're supposed to use. Um, actually use that because um, there are some slightly different commands. But um, I will open this just to show you exactly what's going on. So first of all, you're going to change all these commands to dot and then forward slash. I will show you in the modified update.zip that I created. Um, so as you can see, I took these fat flash, flash, boot, flash bootloader bootloader flow flow and I'd put dot slash fast boot. Um, one note you need to take note of is you need to go into the SDK files and take your fast boot file or your fast boot executable command and drag that into the folder in which all this, um, all these files, all these images are in. So once you have that all ready and set, um, you're going to want to create this new update file which I will upload the text exactly what you need so basically you need the flash bootloader which will flash the new 5.0 bootloader then it will reboot the bootloader and then wait five seconds for the device to respond after that you're just going to want to flash the boot image which you extracted from the first file from the image razor.zip and then you want to extract the system image normally what you would do is just click this flash all.sh in the flash all.sh you would just apply the update image razor um, zip whatever but the thing is when you do that there's this user data image and this recovery image are also flashed so when that happens and oh and also your cache image will be flashed as well so when that happens um, it will do a full wipe on the whole device in this method theoretically um, you should only be flashing the boot and the system image so hopefully this will work um, this is going to be my first crack at it so after that's all done you're going to want to right click on the folder and open a new terminal at the folder um, there's a system preferences setting hopefully you have that set it's in keyboard shortcuts uh, let me just go through that real fast so you just got to go through system preferences keyboard shortcuts sorry shortcut services and new terminal at folder just click it you don't need to set a command to it it doesn't matter because all you got to do is right click and new terminal in uh, new terminal at folder what you're going to want to do next is type in dot slash fast boot devices this command um, shows uh, what devices are connected as you can see i have my device 09 ece195 on fast boot that shows that we are connected um, to make sure that the bootloader is unlocked, I'm going to check the tablet. 
bootloader state unlocked, secure boot enabled, fast boot mode. You want to be in fast boot mode while flashing this. Now, all you're going to want to do is drag this update.sh and you're going to want to drag it into here and you're just going to want to two one so the bootloader as you can see has been flashed um, the nexus reboots and um, looks like the reboot to the bootloader came in um, it says that the file new no such file directory for the line four of the um, thing so I'm just going to type that in manually dot dash flash fast boot flash boot boot image boot dot image okay boot and then do the same thing for the system flash system system dot image uh, just make sure everything is correct sorry for the uh, not really formal video um, I'm trying to make this as fast as I can for you guys make sure it's still going on correctly um, I don't have much time so that's why I'm doing this very fast which I shouldn't be but as you can see now it is sending the system um, obviously um, this will take some time the system file is pretty large uh, let's actually check that uh, it is 818.3 megabytes, so it is going to take some time, so leave it as B. Um, okay, so it says it's finished, total time 72.689 seconds. Um, I'm going to verify that that's all I need to do um, from Root Junkie's video. I recommend watching his video first because my video is not as formal. As you can see, it's not as great, but um, let's see. So now I have the device. Um, I'm going to restart the device. So I'm going to unplug the device and power off the device. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it back into frame and power it on for the first time. As you can see, we see the Google with the unlocked bootloader, which means we're good. Pop, as you can see, I can swipe to, okay, swipe to unlock and I will go to the, ooh, this is so new. Oh my God, hold on. I'm like bathing in this. Okay, so as you can see, I am running Android Lollipop about this tablet 5.0. And if I keep clicking, um, you see the Lollipop symbol. So I am running Android Lollipop. You can see all the nice animations that are coming. And I did not lose any data. So um, that is the way to flash your factory images um, without losing any data on Mac OS X. Um, it's a little bit complicated. I will have everything in the description below and I will link Root Junkie's video because Root Junkie's video is a perfect representation of how you should do it, especially on Windows. Um, but this is the Mac version. This is kind of unedited. And so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.